No matter what the Israeli government says, their claim of self-defense is truly lacking when you account for the amount of innocent people killed, mostly uh, women and children, the number of journalists that have been killed, like 75 or so, um, the amount of medical workers that have been killed, or the amount of UN members that have been killed by the Israeli government. If they were truly uh, defending themselves, there wouldn't be a high body count of innocent people. Now, the siege is being accompanied by a ferocious bombing campaign. In just the first six days of the war, Israel dropped 6,000 bombs in the densely populated Gaza Strip. Israel has stopped reporting the number of bombs being dropped, but the intense pace has continued. Last night, my wife and I learned that someone we know well lost two family members and four of their children killed in bombing in Gaza. I bet somebody has claimed that those people were terrorists because they stayed in the area or they were like willing to be killed, which is just a way for people to try to justify the killings of innocent people. And it's weird that they've stopped reporting the amount of bombs they've been dropping, especially since they were reporting that in the beginning. There's definitely a reason why they want to keep those numbers hidden. So they are not yet included in the most recent death toll reported by the United Nations yesterday, which says the number of dead has risen to over 8,300 people, 70% of them women and children, including 3,457 children. These are UN figures. According to UN figures, that is about six times more children killed in three weeks in Gaza than the number of children killed in Ukraine during the entire war there. Wow, yeah, if, if uh, Putin was killing that many people in that amount of time in, in Ukraine, the United States would be all over uh uh, Ukraine giving them money and weapons and stuff and uh, calling out uh, Putin for war crimes and genocide but because it's the Israeli government and the United States is quote unquote allies with them the United States turns a blind eye to their war crimes the executive director of UNICEF Catherine Russell said at the current rate more than 420 children are being killed or injured in Gaza each day, a number, she said, which should shake us to our core.